Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did. I slept like a baby. I slept all alone uh, for the first time in a very long time. And um, and I slept like a baby for such a long time. Um, like, I think eight, nine hours. Yay. Um, maybe even more, maybe like 10, 11 hours. However, I really enjoyed it. And uh, I am so grateful to be home. I was just um, in a fight with my youngest bonus son. Um, and it was a very important one, you know. Um, and I love, I love when you solve it. Like we solved it after we were in the fight. And, um, and it's so, I think that, you know, when you, when you manage to do that, you get much closer to each other. Um, and you also build a bond, you know, a trust bond. Because um, it, it doesn't break, you know, just because it's a little ripped. You can even stitch it together so it's stronger. And um, I'm grateful that I was brought up the way I was. My family is not frightened of conflicts at all. Uh, but we're always, you know, taking you know, responsibility for our part, saying sorry and, um, and learning from it. Um, that's what we were trying to do today, you know. I was angry because someone didn't listen, you know, <laughs> as they tend not to do um, when they're young. And, um, and he was angry because I raised my voice. You know how it is. And I was like, what do you suggest that I do when you don't hear me? You know, if I do not raise my voice, how can I reach you? You know, um, when you... Uh, and we came to kind of a good conclusion, you know, where like, I didn't promise him that I was never going to do it again. But where he promised me that he was going to try to listen better and I promised him that I was going to try to not, you know, get angry in that way. And, um, and we, you know, <laughs> we just hugged and, you know, built that beautiful trust that I find so, so, so important and, uh, and that I feel, you know, with my parents and, uh, and my sister and, uh, and my nieces and uh, my husband, like, you know, that it's so strong, so it's not going to break by, you know, a little rip because we find a way of, of you know, building it even stronger. Uh, but it is draining yeah, <laughs> to fight and it is draining to put boundaries for kids. And I think that's the biggest responsibility as an adult. I'm not, you know, the boy's mother, uh, but I am Gemma's and God knows we're fighting too. Um, she's a stubborn little one. And I think that the most beautiful thing I can do for her is putting boundaries and um, loving her enough, you know, to um, take those fights. Because if, if we don't do it, the adults in their lives, who will? Uh, and who will teach them, you know, how to behave? Like, I think it's a super important task in parenthood to um, to teach them, you know, how to how to be good humans. <laughs> so I'm grateful that I get that opportunity. It's it's really really beautiful and draining and uh, exhausting and uh, fantastic in all those you know varieties. I'm also enormously grateful. I had a conversation with my best friend, and she is the best. Um, we haven't spoken now and I've been in, in Spain for some time and um, I just love how our conversations are always developing you know I learn things every time we speak and God knows we speak often you know um, but she always has a cool perspective of things she always gives me insights she always also takes me back to myself because we've known each other since I was like 16 17 years old and uh she knows my core values. She knows, you know, the true version of who I am. Uh, and I sometimes lose that, you know, when I'm tired, when I'm stressed, when I'm wrapped up in whatever, you know, I'm wrapped up in. And um, I, I value that a lot. And I, and I, you know, I love her to bits. And I'm so grateful to have her as my best friend. I'm also, you know, very, very grateful for my husband. Uh, we are very different from each other. And he definitely, he's my rock. Um, he just makes life so livable. Um, 
I always compare it to, you know, <laughs> I am very good in, in, you know, glitter and uh, fun and like exciting things and, you know, it's things happens around me. I'm busy, I'm buzzing and I'm like, shoo, shoo, shoo. Um, but you know, the everyday life, I have no idea of how I would manage that without him. Um, hallelujah. <laughs> And, I, and I'm so grateful to be in a partnership. I was on my own for many, many years. And um, and I know that I can do it. I can really take care of myself. I know I don't need him. I, I know that I, I am responsible for my own happiness. And he is responsible for his own happiness. And, you know, I know all that. And I'm really grateful that I do. Uh, but God knows he, he um, you know, he puts, he's the son, you know. It just makes it so much easier. Just like a sunny day is so much nicer than a like clouded one. Um, okay, you guys are also fantastic and I love each and every one of you to bits. Thank you for, for being a part of this uh, channel. And um, I also had this beautiful conversation with the boys today about commitment, you know, because I committed to do this every day. And I curse myself sometimes because sometimes I really don't want to show up. I don't want to sit down. I don't want to like, I don't want to do it, but that's my commitment. And that's the price I pay because if I'm not committed to it, you cannot count on me. And if you cannot count on me, you're not going to come here. Um, so that's the price I pay <laughs> uh, for, for being able to have such an enormous joyous job and so much fun and, uh, and such an enormously privileged life because everything has a price and I'm happy to pay that price to show up for you every day to have this magical life that I do. So, so thank you for you know being on this journey with me, for taking your time and coming here and for you know doing this with me because I also know that I would never do it with, without you. Let's do some yoga. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Observe your breath and where in your body breath is located. We're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard. Inhale to spread. Very good job. We're gonna do the crowd in head forward.
switch direction. We are gonna, or we're gonna do, <laughs> I don't know. We are going to do the boat. So come here and breathe. Sitting bones. Straighten up your right arm. Grab hold of the outer part of your left foot and look over your left shoulder. To the middle, come up with your left arm, grab hold of the outer part of your right foot and look over your right shoulder. Now we're going to come to the other position. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten up your back up. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come, it's only you in this very moment. Palms 
easier for us to just think it was today to your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people namaste thank you so much for today for going to go and do this i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye